Ahoy hoy all, Truss here, and welcome back to another Conquest Reforged video. Today in this video I'm going to be going through some of the very basics of how to improve your build using the Conquest Reforged mod pack. Now these are the basics, we shall hopefully do more advanced building techniques in future videos should this video be successful and if there is an appetite for it. Um, but to begin I shall show you in each case a what I would consider a vanilla technique followed by some of the options available within the Conquest Reforged mod pack itself. Um, I'm only doing it for three areas, uh, doors, overhangs and windows because they are the blocks I would are the areas within a facade of a house that I would typically notice myself to begin with. Um, so to begin we have a typical Minecraft door, nothing too special, it's a spruce door and I've put an inverted stair above it to give it some depth. That is a technique I've long used, um, often people just use a normal block and again the door is receded in from the block to again give some depth and uh, 3D effect. So that's your vanilla technique. There are many, many options available in Conquest Reforged. Again, just to reiterate, this is only the very basics. This is nothing too advanced. It's just to show you some of the simplest options available. So in one, we have an arch. Again, the arches, in all the illustrations here, I've done a completely different colored block just in order to, I suppose, highlight exactly what I'm showing you. <clears throat> forgive me. Um, so in this one we have a just an old arch block that's also available in 1.12 um, and a Conquest Reforged tall door. Um, these new arch blocks here they are available only in Conquest 1.15 and above. Um, they have multiple block states so you can choose several variations of each within the same block. And I think they look pretty magnificent. They add an awful lot to a build. Um, and they can be used not only for doors, but for numerous different things. Now we're moving on to some double doors. Again, that's at the top, uh, at the apex, is the old 1.12 style half arch. Um, you just combine two of them. And um, I've used some vertical trap doors, or vertical slabs even, to... Um, create a border along the side of the door. Um, personally, I can't understand why Mojang don't implement things like vertical slabs, let alone vertical layered slabs as we have in Conquest 1.15. Again, this is a bigger arch. Um, it's just a half arch of the one that you've seen, and it's in one of the block states and allows for big double doors. And again, very, very decorative and quite impressive to my own mind. Finally, the same thing except ex with a gothic arch um, in much the same technique and again I think that compared to a bog standard door or even a double door in Minecraft the, uh, vanilla, these are far far more immersive, realistic and will add far more to a build. Okay, so now on to the overhang, also known as a jetty. Um, the technique was known as jetting, I believe. Um, this would be a fairly typical technique in vanilla Minecraft. Um, we use it in Conquest Reforged as well, though it's not as necessary as we can do thinner overhangs and we can use all sorts of tricks to actually create just normal straight houses without jettying, but still give 3D effects. But for this video, we're showing you, as I said, some of the more simple techniques available in Conquest Reforged. So again, here is the typical vanilla technique of jettying a house and creating an overhang. Uh, you would use um, inverted stairs to create supports. Um, I have also used and sometimes seen um, open gates. They're, they create, a, I suppose, a weaker support, but typically it would be inverted stairs such as you see here. Within Conquest Reforged, there's far more available choice. The simplest of which, and the most typical, is just to use horizontal and vertical beam blocks. 
and they have multiple block states as you can see um, so it's a far 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 more realistic choice and given the multiple block states you can create it um, really does allow for a far nicer more realistic and um, just a more aesthetically pleasing build here's a second technique it uses a wall a wooden wall block with a a beam underneath it and again just creates a kind of a support that is more it's again it's just a little different um allows you get a bit more variety within a build this technique here is one i've used in one of my builds it can only be used for conquest reforge 1.12 it utilizes quarter blocks and just simulates i suppose joists coming out of the wall supporting the jettying here's another block that's again just in conquest reforged it's a support block and again it just allows a different way to support the overhang and i think looks pretty good this is the same except it's a victory mod version of the support now victory mod has multiple types of wood support so this is i think the oak one but there are multiple ones so you can pick and choose your color of your choice which allows you know far far more in terms of decoration here is a again it's a block that's only available in conquest reforge 1.15 and above it's a cornice block there are multiple versions of it so again much like the victory mod support you can pick and choose your color depending on your build here we have some corbel blocks there are two varieties available in 1.15 and above uh, there's a white one and a normal ornate wooden one um, in between i've used a board block just to again illustrate some of the just some of the variety available to you to create a more immersive and enhanced builds when you're doing things like overhangs and jettying and these are two final ones again i've chosen the block specifically to stand out from the wall that i've built here um, and again just some arch blocks to show that you can be creative use one of the multiple blocks available to you within the mod pack to allow for supports and again all of these i feel far far more realistic immersive and just overall a better choice than a simple inverted staircase which of course you can also use um but you have far far more choice with conquest reforged finally onto the windows now when i was building in vanilla i would typically use a window pane rather than a window block that allowed the illusion of depth within the build which is so necessary with vanilla because you have a limited choice available to you and you have to make ends meet i suppose wherever you may um i've also added a spruce trapdoor just to simulate a shutter again that would be a typically vanilla technique and um, forgive the light rays coming through the windows that's something we're unfortunately just going to have to suffer um so the first window i've built and again these are all very very simple ones uh, nothing too advanced here because the idea is to give a basic showcase of more basic techniques just to illustrate what we can do in conquest reforged so i've created a sill using a quarter uh, block and some edging again you're just using vertical quarters and conquest reforged window with shutters which again have multiple block states which really allows you lots of choice so again that just brings the window out i don't need to use a window pane because the blocks available to me are such that they allow you just put a normal window block in and we still have far more depth than is available within just vanilla minecraft here's another window just with a facade block there are several facade blocks available in different colors and in slight I've, i'm just looking up at a different one there a slightly different feature and again just using a sill block to create a simple yet effective window 
here we have an arch block again just utilizing a different type of shutter just to show that there are multiple choices available to you in this one I've used an arrow slip block and it's an exterior one so it just sits on top of the existing window and again it makes the window a little bit thinner which is something of a feature and again creates some depth within your wall and it also comes in a full block feature so you can create a double thick wall and have the window sit behind it if you so wished this would be particularly useful in things like castles and uh, maybe you want to have something a little bit more ornate um, and you can create a little roof overhang uh, using corbel blocks and some rails and again just one of the support blocks and again that just adds a little mo more uh, depth of character to your build um, and just looks quite well finally this one I didn't use a quarter block as a sill I used two uh, of the column blocks and again that creates a more ornate sill that has a little bit more um, character and a little bit more detail to it and then I use again a quarter block just to give it, pull it out from the wall a little bit perhaps you're doing something from a more fantasy vibe for example elvish or something and you want to utilize something like wood that also can be done fairly easily um, again just using a, one of the minecraft or the conquest reforged specific windows and some just some wooden blocks being creative using a towel as a towel rack as a sill um opened shutters and a quarter block on top it just again creates a little box within which you can see the window uh, finally i'm doing something a little bit more if you were creating maybe a slum build or a more simple build this is a window block you can see it just sitting there behind uh, with rails sitting on top of it uh, the rails themselves are surrounded by a wooden quarter block and then on the bottom we have a towel rack just as a simple sill and again it creates just several levels of depth that bring the much needed character to your build so there we have it as I said a simple enough video hopefully short enough if there is a desire for it I would hope to create more advanced build upon what I've shown you here and make more advanced detailed versions of the windows the doors the overhangs because it is possible and um, this as I said was just to hopefully show some vanilla players the possibilities available to you at a very simple level within the conquest reforge mod pack so if you do like it please leave me a comment uh, letting me know exactly what you require what you would like me to show and um, maybe my style is terrible I'm open to both negative and positive feedback so don't be afraid and um, I'm quite thick-skinned at my age so um, please if you do like it leave a like leave a comment I would appreciate it greatly and um, hopefully as I said, we shall build upon this and start creating more advanced techniques um, with the mod pack and we can do hopefully some let's builds and make them interesting and immersive. Until next time, thank you very, very much for watching and stay frosty.